What's up guys, my name is Splattercat and today we're going to be playing a bit of Fist Puncher. Now I'm not sure what the duration of this series is going to be, it's just for a little bit of fun. I figured I'd be playing it all day anyways. But Fist Puncher is a side-scrolling beat-em-up by 2-Bit Studios and also published by Adult Swim Games. And if you're anything like me as a kid, you played a lot of Streets of Rage, a lot of Final Fight, a ton of Vigilante, just all kinds of <laughs> double dragon battle toads and so forth. And so this game is a pixelated throwback to that game genre I mean it's it's a homage so we're gonna go ahead and choose a campaign here the game is somewhat of a literary masterpiece it's got a storyline that would make a tale of two worlds look like and eh, no never mind it's just a game about punching your fist so we're gonna jump into the campaign here and we get to pick our character and I don't really know who I want to play as so let's see who we can let's see who there is I think oh obviously the menu is a little messed up because I I kind of mess with the keys but it'll be all right it'll turn out okay I don't have an Xbox pad to use this with and the game very much implies that you should be using an Xbox controller when you actually log in to play the game it's like use an Xbox controller bro and I was like I don't have one man what do you want me to do but anyways we're gonna go ahead and play the beekeeper then we'll just see how this whole thing goes journey. you arrive in San Cruces a violent city run by the milk and his cartel. You are here to study at the Fist Puncher Dojo. Tonight is Miss Fist Puncher pageant. I am a judge. You will stay here and meditate. All right, so apparently we're hanging out and meditating. I don't really know what that implies, but let's see if we can get ourselves into some trouble here. So, I've reprogrammed my keys to do a lot of stuff. Learn the basics of Fist Puncher to fight enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just set up the keys. I know how everything works. Sort of. Take this, Ski Mask Man! Down you go! There seems to be a conflict of interest here. Like, if you're gonna wear a ski mask, why are you gonna dress up in a blazer and a business suit, man? Like, it seems like you're confused about what your area of employment is. Like, honestly, you gotta work on your wardrobe. I don't think anybody's gonna take you seriously at a business meeting if you're just gonna be messing around in a ski mask. I mean, balaclavas are cool and all, but I just don't see them amplifying your employment opportunities. He just kicked me in my dome. It's all good though, we got a beekeeper outfit. Let's test out some of these bees. What do these do? Do I throw them, or is the bee compelled? Like, is the bee my friend? I think the bee is like my homie. He's totally down with all this. And so, I think I can block too. Let me see here. Let me see what happens when I block. So, oh, I counter. Very cool. Alright, so I counter with a kick to the face, as with many things in life. You can beat it by kicking it in the face. Let's see what's to the right here, because all interesting things are in the right. He says, we've got the Miss Fist Puncher contestants. Think you can stop us? Well, I get the feeling you're not really going to give me a choice. And so, let me see. Release the bees! I don't really know how much good that's going to do for me, but I am going to continue throwing bees at just everybody. Oh, I've got a special meter up there. Pain! I like that he felt the need to just, like, exclaim what he was feeling. That's a good practice in life. Next time I'm bored, I'm just gonna scream bored. That's how I'm gonna handle the whole situation. What are you gonna do, buddy? Oh, you just got blocked. You just got blocked. That's right. Like a night at the bar, blocked. All night long without a wingman. And down he goes. Did he draw, what is that, a diamond? Or an emerald? It's an emerald of healing. Eh, it was probably like a lime or something. These games always had like food that was, the food healed you. I've never eaten food and instantaneously been like, well, there goes my cuts and bruises. All is well with the world. And come on, there we go. Now he's down. There seems to be a wide assortment. Apparently men's warehouse is carrying new material because those balaclavas are like everywhere. And so we've got multiple specials. I haven't actually messed around with all of them. Let's see what E does. We'll find this next group. Oh God, they're falling from the sky. Wall Street has apparently crashed. Once again, businessmen are tumbling out of the... Oh, circle kick! Okay. All right, I see what's up now. We're gonna be using that one like crazy. And then what's the other one? Ooh. Okay, that one costs a lot of special, though. If you look at the top left, I've got an XP meter because this game does have a River City Ransom vibe. However, my special meter appears to refill as I kick at the asses. So apparently the enemies exude some sort of gas that just makes me more powerful every time I knock them to hell and back. And I'm gonna do my best here not to end up, oh, I'm ending up black and blue like Barry's and Rihanna after a date. And so, let's see how many of these dudes we can knock it. Oh, and there we go. I love that circle kick. That circle kick is ridiculous. Or I guess they call it like, oh, you're gonna block? You're gonna block, my friend? I think not. I beat you and take your cherries. Your cherries are now mine and I shall imbue them in my tummy. And rage. Collect the letters to spell rage and enter powerful attack modes. Interesting. 
And so, does that just make me, like, ultimate sprinty guy? I'm not really sure what's going on right now. I am, however, going to be using all kinds of circle kickage. And I actually like my B attack. I'm gonna go with that. Because the B attack seems to be an amazing way to put down the enemy. I feel like everybody in this game, like, there are a number of characters. There's, like, Steroid Jackson, who's, like, the juices on... What is that, a dagger? It's like a golden dagger. That or... Oh, it's, it's corn. It's just fiber. It's just fibrous material. It's roughage, guys. It's all good. We may be in fistfights, but we need to stay regular. It's very important in life to be regular. Trust me. In any case, that would be a terrible D&D item. <laughs> the dagger of dietary fiber. <laughs> so we got ourselves an R. Apparently we beat the alphabet out of that individual. We're going to carry on heading to the right. Because in these games, everything B. What does that mean? Oh, no. It's one of those... Okay, down. All right, good. It's one of those games that doesn't relabel things. You are too late. You must hunt down the kidnappers and rescue the missing women. San Cruces is a very dangerous place. Some of you will suffer horrible, gruesome deaths. I will stay here and meditate. <laughs> So after we level up, we apparently get two level points and a perk point, and so we can become cooler. And so, let me see, it basically says that after each level we get some points that we get to spend. That is the short version of that giant paragraph they've decided to give us. Honey, what does honey do? Adding points to honey gauge increases the power of the beekeeper's bee attacks. That's pretty cool because I, I tend to lean pretty heavily on my bees, on my people. And so let's see, I'm going to go with speed? Yeah, let's do speed, because moving around tends to be pretty important in beat-em-ups. So we'll go with that. And then we hit space to assign the points. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Accept. All right, do we get to play? Oh, we got perks, too. Hold on now. Let's see what's going on here. And, oh, okay, you got a tab. So we can get first aid. The ability to heal. We can exchange special points for HP. The beast. Add the ability to call bees back to the beekeeper by holding F, which is my block key, interestingly enough. Special restore. If we get a 25 hit combo, we get a special. I'm gonna go with first aid. That one seems like it's gonna be, we can press H. I'm gonna have to rebind that because that is a terrible key. That is a key, I have a Merc Stealth, and unfortunately, there, for all the things I can say about the Merc Stealth, unfortunately, it does not have an H key next to its little gamepad part. And so, thug, who the hell are you? I'm the beekeeper, my friend. Thug, why are you dressed like a freak? I am dressed for employment opportunities, man. Just need a place to moor my catamaran. Let's hurt her, boys. Oh, she's a female. I didn't know. Oh, that might explain the boobs. Never mind. I just figured that I had, like, a ridiculous glandular problem, and that's why I was a man with boobs. But apparently I'm an ass-kicking female, which is totally cool. I'm all right with that situation. This guy appears to have crawled out of a YMCA somewhere. Back! Back, village man, to the YMCA you spawned from. This guy appears to have a bat that is somewhat... It's either painted poorly or rusty. I'm not sure which of the two. How do I tell what my combo is on? That, that's a reasonable question, I think. Oh, and then we're going to knock down as many people as possible. I really want that bat. Let's see if we can get our hands on that bat. We are the beekeeper, but we will we will resort to violent and unnecessary means, if at all necessary, in our quest to move right. Although I think I can move to the left, too. Yeah, we can move to the left, too. What does this do? Oh, bat. Yeah. Get laid down, son. Do work. This guy appears to have taken fashion lessons from Fonzie and a trailer park. I don't know. Combination of... Oh, God, I got stuck. Uh, escape! Escape! I had a teacher one time, he was like from Spain, and that's what he said, he would go, Escape! But he would say it a lot like, sexier, Escape! It was just like his, uh, his catchphrase. He also talked about sponges, because it was like a, it was like a sea life class. He'd be like, sponges. But anyways, let's move forward. We've grabbed ourselves an R and an A, so we're almost there. Stand aside, miss! Lady in red rescuing damsels in distress. No, I'm rescuing damsels in that stress. And so, Lady in red, how original, you shit lords. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Let's see. We can pick up objects. We can throw it. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I just threw a bee. 
And so we can pick that up and throw, okay, cool. There's like trash cans and more people with bats. Some sporting goods store around here is just doing business. And now your bat is my bat. Welcome to escalation, my friend. This is what an arms race feels like. It's strange that I throw the bat after several swings. That wouldn't be the tactical move that I would make personally. Releasing the bat, oh no. That was, <laughs> time to take out the trash. Except that he's the trash, so there's an irony hidden within. Why is everyone bald here? I get that. The, I get the feeling that's why everybody is so grumpy and less than jovial is because there's so much baldness going on in Las Cruces. I mean, to be fair, my granddad went bald when he was like 23, which I was always terrified. When I was a kid, I was like, oh my god, I am going to go bald when I'm like 21. And it was, oh, I just got kicked in the vajayjay. And so let's, oh, I just got hit with a bat too. I don't think that's going to help the old complexion. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, I'm fighting through a wire mesh. I wonder if this bat is any better. I mean, it's got to be, right? Bats are, I've watched baseball. The color of a bat clearly influences how well you hit stuff with it. Here we seem to have an orthodox, well, maybe not. <laughs> In either way, we're not going to go that way. We're just going to hit the, whoever this is with a bat, my green-eyed friend. Take this. Whoa, jump kick. Oh, that didn't work. Hold on, let's try again. Jump kick. I figured I'd be playing this game all day, so a little background behind this series. I know this is kind of out of the ordinary for the normal series I do on this channel. Like, I tend to stick to, like, strategy games, but for whatever reason, I've been feeling just old school lately. Like, I set up my Sega Genesis. It was all covered in dust. I didn't really have a place to put it anyways. Can I block a bat? Sir, you have a nosebleed. You need to have that cauterized if it's happening more than once a week. Eh, I'm gonna make it worse. Whatever. Oh, no. Eat B. And so, anyways, talking about the series, I figured I was going to be playing the hell out of this game anyways because I love beat-em-ups. Like, I was a major beat-em-up addict. Like, if you counted the amount of quarters that I spent playing these games in arcades, I think you would have a moderate assortment of quarters. Like, you might be able to finish, like, the 50 U.S. States thing of quarters. And I would, I would use other references, but I don't know what other people use as quarters. Like, I'm sure everybody's got quarters, but, you know, like a quarter pound, whatever. I don't really know what people use as quarters or if they call them quarters. But I'm going to assume that everyone had quarters that they spent on arcades. And so, if I counted them all, you would have a veritable sack full of quarters. And this guy is playing the waiting game. He's much like me. He's going to be defensive and just... You know what? I throw a B at you, sir. What, did he just get, like, get confused about his motive? Line! I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I know I have a bat, and there's somebody in a beekeeper's outfit headed towards me. Oh, we got an... Okay, we got two A's. Typically, we're good enough with one A. In life, if you're blessed with a single A, you should be happy. Two A's is even better. And let's go ahead, eh, never mind, I was going to pop a special on this fool, but I don't think that's going to be prudent. And so, ooh, we got his bat now. Give me your bat. I feel as though the bat, for being, I mean, maybe it's just painted gray, but I feel like an aluminum bat would do much better skull destruction. Can I throw him? I guess not. What happens if I grab a person? Oh, comboed, son. Comboed. Give me all your lemons. Ooh, I can do like a jump kicky thing. Hold on. Ooh, okay. I didn't even know I could do that. I gotta mess around with stuff more. I do like the fact that I can teleport across the screen for just a fistful of ass whooping if need be. That is a very nice feature. I like the fact that I can move around quite a bit. And that jump kick right there, you just tap the jump key twice. I may actually, this game doesn't have, my big plan for this game was to just like randomly do a drawing every other day and have somebody play it with me, but since it's local co-op only, unfortunately, I figured they put internet support on it so that we could play it over the internet, but alas, that is not the case. But yeah, I, I was gonna, I mean, until the developers completely blocked me, I was gonna ask you guys if you wanted to hang out every other day and play the game with me, but I guess I'll be stuck being a forever alone now, just crying and looking at memes on the sidebar. And so the roll escape, let's see here. I know that, I, oh yeah, I reassigned roll escape. Okay, cool. I don't think roll escape costs us anything. We're missing a G, unfortunately. Giggles, well, well, well. Milkman didn't think you'd come. Just the same. I'm not sure if that was a complete sentence or a coherent thought process, but have some bees. <laughs> the sound effects are half the fun of playing a game like this. Like, And people wonder if this is more or less just me, like an act or whatever. No, when I play by myself, believe me. Believe me, ask my significant other. This is exactly how it goes down. I talk to myself, I make sound effects. I'm basically a man-boy child. That's really... 
if you had to classify where I'm at right now in life, man boy child, I think would be an extremely accurate represent. Oh no, he picked me up. Hold on. No, no, no. We're not doing that. Hold on. Man boy child, I think would be the best and most accurate classification. I'm just going to keep spamming B attacks because other than, oh, he kicked my B. That was the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. He kicked my B. And so I suppose what we can do now, is there any health anywhere? I feel like I've got an unfortunate situation on hand. S oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so I probably, that was probably the right time for the roll escape deployment. And so I'm more or less just talking about, since this game is not like, I mean, it is level based. Like we are going to be running around doing stuff and he's kicking my bees out of the air. That's, I mean, I feel as though I am a ninja and bees are my shurikens. And so I'm just going to treat him to an absurd amount of shoryuken bees. And so, oh God. Well, hold on, man. Hold on. How do I, uh, oh no. Am I out of bees? Oh, he kicked that one out of the sky too. What a bamf. This guy's my hero. If I could kick bees, I would be so happy. I mean, the bees wouldn't be happy. That'd be a terrible day for the bees. And unfortunately, since I have no health, I don't want to be anywhere near this guy. I kind of just want to run away. Oh, I got a trash bag, homie. I got a trash bag. What are you going to do now? Oh, knocked out. He's got a letter. I don't want your letter. I want your fruit. Oh, that's a soda. That's even better. All right, 10 HPs. And so what's going on here? Once you've moved the women to the locations, further orders, rescue attempts must be met. Brutality, discourage heroes. Attached map for safe house locations. Your loving friend in correspondence, the milkman. I kind of wonder how he got that name. I mean, it could have been just maybe he milked a lot of cows. Like my sister works on a farm and it's utterly ridiculous the amount of work they do there. I think I'm going to go with defense, to be honest. I'm going to go with a defense and a strength. Does defense actually... Decreases damage when attacked. Yeah, that's exactly what I want. And so I don't think it's going to allow me to do perks. Let's see here. Yeah, we don't get perks. We have some fruit and things. Edumatainment fact, a little pepper spray. Oh, it's a chipotle pepper. I thought it was like a ear of corn that was just poorly pixelated. I don't know. In any case, our stats. 38 kills. We beat people to death. This is not one of those politically correct games where people survive their beating. Oh, it looks like we got a little city here. Red Line Subway. Well, what do we want to do? I think what I will do, play more park. Well, let's do one more level. So we'll do the subway. We'll do this. What does the card album do? Let's see here. Complete any level with Dr. Karate. He has a PhD. His dissertation was in pain. Let's see here. Oh, we get to pick characters again. Well, I'm going to go with the beekeeper because the beekeeper's pretty dope. I'm having fun with the beekeeper. I actually like the theme, although Dr. Karate would be tough too. Little is known about the mysterious beekeeper. Some say she's hiding a dark secret. Or that her eccentricities border on lunacy. God. <laughs> Others say she just really likes honey. Yeah, I'm not a honey fan. Not me personally. Rigorous meditation has resulted in Vent's mental clarity. And I'm reading this. I'm assuming you're illiterate. I apologize. That's probably... <laughs> I read it out if it makes you feel better. I read it out as though I am illiterate too when I was by myself. So It might be part of the ADD though. I've never been able to really lock that down. It might be something that I should probably take. I probably need Ritalin or some form of Ativan or, you know, something. And these gentlemen all seem to have a bandana fetish and also a fetish with being punched. You know what, gentlemen? You know what? It's weird that there's no females. Oh my god, I'm just getting worked. I am getting worked like a backhoe. And so, give me your bat. There we go. We've got the bat now. And so, I'm going to focus on this guy in the corner. You just messed up, pal. You let yourself get railroaded. That dude's got a shovel. And so, he's just running around screaming catchphrases like, I can dig it. And then I got kicked in the face. And so, I think this might be a good time to unleash the bees. Let them sting. Let them sting. <laughs> Pain. Bandanas. There are a lot of people with green eyes here. I wonder if these enemies are randomly generated or if these are like... Pla what did that do? I feel like I just like... I don't even know what just happened. I've still got one lone bee. That guy had a screwdriver? What did that do? I don't even know. The cultist. Well, I tried to hit him with a shovel, but Dracogen. Okay. 
Feels like a mutagen that would turn you into a dragon, which would be a pretty bitchin' mutagen to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, if I had to choose between just mutating in general and then mutating like into a dragon, like a Trogdor-esque creature, I think I'd go with the dragon just for the fiery breath alone. Can you imagine? Somebody come to your cubicle and be like, file these, and you'd be like, dragon's breath! And that would be that. It would be the end of the day. I'm gonna beat that silly earring out of your ear, my friend. I'm going to beat you like a belt. This guy has somehow got a black hood. Either that or he's wearing a burqa. One or the other. And I'm not going to disparage anybody for their religious beliefs. But that's not going to stop me from punching him. Sir, your burqa cannot defend you. It cannot defend you. Your offenses on chastity today, well, I don't know if you've specifically offended chastity today, but I'm sure you've offended somebody. I mean, the internet exists. So... Oh, look, there's more of them. And this one's got a shovel. I want your shovel, my friend, and I will take it by force. Oh, and that jump kick did nothing. That jump kick was incredibly worthless. Bees! I like to throw... Sometimes when I throw a bee, I like to do a front flip right after. I mean, that's like a real-life advice. You don't necessarily have to pace out the front flip after the bee throw. But honestly, I think it's a good plan. I think it's something that would benefit your bee throwing technique. Is if you could learn... I mean, style and showmanship. There's something to be said about style and showmanship. Oh my god, there's so many of them. And so... We'll do, I think, oh god, he just pointed at me, you know it just got real. I mean, when Babe Ruth pointed at stuff, you know it got real. And that's when I'm going to pop off. What's nice is the bees actually recharge your special meter when they attack. The special meter looks like it refills every time you attack somebody. And I'm going to try and grab this guy. I don't really know. Oh, bee swarm to the face. Much worse than a bee swarm to anywhere else, other than possibly the genitals. That would be incredibly unpleasant. But I am, I'm kind of thinking I should take that 25 hit combo thing, even though I have no way to count my combos right now. Whoa, front flip to your other side. Can I pick him up while he's, oh, you can stomp. Stomp! It looks like some kind of crazy dance, just like, oh, work it out, work it out. A dance of pain. And so I don't really know when this level is going to end. And don't expect this to be like a ridiculously concurrent series. I'll probably throw up like four or five episodes, just as long as it's going to be fun. Like I said, the longevity on this one was going to be like every week I was going to play it with one of you guys over the internet. But apparently I'm really bad at research and I need to get a way better fact checker. I don't have a fact checker. My fact... Oh, I can see my combo. It's up in the top left corner. I think that should be repositioned down to next to my character so that I can see. And why did my punches randomly stop working there? I find that to be offensive. In a game called Fist Puncher, I feel as though the punches should always work. Throw some bees! And so there's a shovel over there. And in the interest... Oh, he picked up the shovel. It looked like I was shoving the bandana down his throat there for a moment. What is that? Is that a spray can or is that food? As with all things in life, let's taste it and find out. Apparently it's a spray can that is filled with healing nectar. And I just got nailed with what looks like an 8 pound sledge. I don't think I'd be coming back with that, but possibly the magical powers of my bee suit have compelled me to rise once more in a torrent of pain and enemy suffering. But as I was saying, I'll probably upload a bunch of episodes on this game. Maybe turn it into an indie short or something. Just let you guys get a feel for how the game plays, because honestly, it feels very streamlined. It doesn't have any of those foibles that I've noticed in other games where you you go from just kind of a choppy... Like, it doesn't feel like the punches flow properly. The Scourge. This is your stop. I wonder if he got that by whipping somebody, or if he's just really kind of a dick and nobody likes him. In any case, unleash the bees, which he's going to uh, try and kick out of the way, I can already tell. It looks like he went immune to the bees, though. So I'm going to hit him, and then I'm going to block. And I don't really know how this whole thing's going to work. Oh, God, I don't really know how to escape from grabs. I think you... Honestly, I'm just going to spam keys. It's never failed me in the past. It has never failed me in the past. And so spam the keys. I'm hoping that I'll be able to beat some type of sustenance out of these guys. Or at least get my special meter partially refilled. Because I would like to clear all these dudes out with some more bees. So there we go. We'll send some bees their way. But once again, the Scourge has run to the front of the line. He is no good at staying in his place. Are you serious? Are you serious, the Scourge? I really need to deal more damage. I'm thinking I have a problem here. In a game called Fist Puncher, my punches are woefully inept. I need more meditation, as Dr. Karate would say. A dissertation in meditation, in concentration, an amalgamation across the nation. I can make rhymes too, see? I'm talented. Maybe. I mean, mostly I just talk over video games, but... I wonder if there's a limit to how much you can... I don't really know what key allows me to escape. 
And so I'm just kind of mashing things as I go through. I do like the fact that I can just front flip through all of these guys. And so that's what I'm going to do in this situation. Oh, never mind. Ended my front flip with a bat to the dome. A bat to my wonderful, beautiful beekeeper dome. Need a haircut, my friend. A haircut. And I will do it with my knuckle. You ever had a haircut with a knuckle? That seems like a really, really unpleasant haircut. That seems like a haircut that would quickly just get out of control. A haircut that would rapidly degenerate. And so I can't really tell if they're healing from the... And so, from what I can tell... Spam everything! Stop punching me in the face! No! See, and I, I'm gonna have to kite again, and I don't like that. I wanna... I don't know how to escape. And, oh, I failed the level! Well, in any case, I suppose... Where's it gonna let me start up again? Yeah, we'll try again one more time, because I don't like to leave on that kind of note. The Scourge, this is your stop! Alright, we can do this, guys. I believe in you. I believe in you and the collective ability of us to spam bees at our enemies. And, wow, that is... That is something. I sense this game costing a lot of quarters at some point. And this one, this ass whooping is looking even worse than the last ass whooping that I just took. I'm really thinking that perhaps I should have put more points into strength. I just don't feel as though I am dealing a proportionate amount of damage to my foes. And so I'm going to come around here like collie buds. Oh god. And so it's weird and unfortunate that he's able to like run in front of all of my foes like this and also spam kicks back and forth and also grab me. That's a situation that I very much don't like. And so I don't know if I'm, I'm just going to try and kite him here. I'm going to try and like I'm going to hit him a couple times and then teleport out of the way each time. Oh, you can't catch me. My Dragon Ball Z powers are just teleporting all over the place. It's terrifying. Let's see. Oh, God. That is a... I didn't notice because the walls are the same color as the blood that my enemies are spitting everywhere. But these guys are losing a huge amount of blood every time I strike them. I mean, they are losing just liters. It is like a vampire's wet dream in here. That's what I need. I need a vampire. Like a vampire sidekick. There we go. And so, ooh, we got a G, we got a G. Let's do this thing. Rage meter. And so we beat fruit out of him, purple fruit. And so I'm not even going to, I'm going to allow those to hit him. Oh, God, I just got kicked in the face. And so I think I can get away with, like, two hits, and then he does his little kick, and then I teleport through him. Oh, I've got the strategy mastered. Nintendo skills coming through, and they said I'd never amount to anything from my Nintendo Double Dragon skills. They said, this is an inapplicable job market, my friend. Why do you spend so much time doing this? And I replied, because it's a calling. Some men are called to do great things. Some men are called to do business. I am called to push that A and B button like crazy, or the left and right keys. Oh god, how does he have... I'm a little confused here about the overall metrics of how damage dealing works. And so let me see if just... Oh, that he... what heals him? Do the... Does he get healed by spamming of the special attacks? The special... the attacks of a special nature? The attacks that ride the bus that is shorter than others. It's weird that, nah, never mind. Not gonna go down that line of thought. Absolutely not. Sometimes I have to curb myself. I really do. It happens multiple. Oh, knocked out, Scourge. I just whipped you like a redheaded stepchild, my friend. Like a redheaded stepchild. And so, that's where I think I'm gonna break off this first episode of Fist Puncher. I'm gonna do a couple more episodes because mainly I'm gonna be playing the game like crazy anyways. So why not film it and give it to you guys? But I'll see you next time. There's gonna be a couple more episodes. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle. Take care, everybody.